Choo-choo! All aboard the hype train! The hype is real, boys and girls. Let's find out what it's all about this morning on The Morning Jolt. What's up, guys? Mark back here with yet another video here on The Morning Jolt program. Hi, guys. So, Nikon released yet another video, and you might have seen it, you might have not, but I keep up with photography news pretty constantly so i am looking around for any little nugget of uh, whatever and because we are literally one day away today is the 22nd so nikon is supposed to be announcing their brand new mirrorless camera tomorrow i mean that does seem to be in the forefront of everyone's mind and it's going to be full frame and everyone is wondering just exactly what's gonna happen so nikon released their sixth teaser trailer yesterday and it was entitled photographers to a certain extent i would love to show it on my channel but i really think that they would flag me for like copyright and then demonetize or whatever i mean something would happen but i do think that i could probably get away with a couple of clips so maybe i'll do that but if you want to watch it in its entirety without having it all chopped up or whatever i will drop a link down in the description box below so that you can go view that for yourself so pause the video now go watch it and then come back but if you really just want to see the good parts just stick with me. I'll take you. So the latest video that ended up dropping from Nikon was about a 50 second video, give or take, and it was entitled Photographers. Now, right out of the gate, this worries me because it's not like Nikon hasn't been taking good pictures, you know, for a very, very long time. I mean, they've got good cameras, they've got good glass, and, uh, yeah, pictures has never been their problem. So let's just go ahead and get it out of the way. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. We get a teaser video about photographers, but what about the people that shoot video? Because that's what we're really all waiting for. I mean, Nikon wouldn't still be in business over 100 years later if they were taking shitty pictures. I mean, let's just be perfectly honest. What about the video but alas none of that was talked about in this video and i really hope that that's just because they're saving the best for last that they're saving that for the official announcement everyone's going to be talking about the photographers and blah blah no one's really talking about it. everyone that's a photographer is already taking decent pictures with their nikon cameras there's nothing wrong with that particular part of their system so maybe they are. Maybe they are, you know, hyping this thing up. Woo! So much hype. The hype train is real. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm wanting to know how they're going to be doing in video. How is the autofocus? Is it going to track? Is it going to have some sort of eye tracking functionality? Is there going to be some sort of, you know, phase detection on the chip? Is there going to be backside illuminated sensor? Is there going to be a stacked sensor? What is going... I want the particulars. Those... I mean, I guess... Once you've been doing photography for so long, those are the things you really give a crap about. I mean, while I think that it's nice that some photographers go, you know, it's really great camera and it's super awesome and blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, when you get into photography and you've been in long enough, it is those smaller details, those particulars, whether it's backside illuminated, whether it's uh, phase detection, all those little things apply more so when you have a very specified workflow, when you have very specified requirements and those are basically the things that nikon is completely left out other than the mounts so we know we're getting a new mount uh we know uh, we know we're getting new lenses but that's really just about it so let's go ahead and dissect this mother grabber and find out exactly what kind of little nuggets were dropped so in this first segment vivian liu says having a camera i could take anywhere with me is great because the more pictures you take the greater it is for a creative Shooting becomes very addictive because of the results. I'm sure that's really nice, but I mean, there are a lot of cameras already available that you can literally take anywhere with you. True story, and let's move on. Another photographer named uh, Marcel Van Oosten, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. If I got it wrong, sue me. Words are hard today. It feels just like a DSLR, but physically it's totally different because it's so lightweight. It's really great. I can still use all my F-mount lenses on this new camera. Aha! The first nugget. So you are going to be able to use your F-mount lenses, but that also means that the other mounts 
previously are probably not going to be supported. And that would also elude to the fact that they are going to be releasing some sort of an adapter. Now, if my predictions are correct, I'm predicting that the uh, adapter that they're going to be releasing is probably going to be similar to Canon's adapter because Canon has an EF adapter to uh, their EOS M mount, their mirrorless mount. They charge about they charge about two hundred dollars for that adapter, but all of your autofocus, all of the functions are seamlessly transferred from those EF lenses to those uh, new mirrorless cameras. And it honestly, it seems like a good deal. Like you, you don't know how much non hassling, not to be hassled, how much that's worth. So if they create a good, you know, mount adapter, F mount adapter, and they do end up charging quite a bit extra <laughs> because they're going to have to, I mean, unless this thing comes to box, like I would crap directly into my panties if they actually included the adapter in the box. That would be a solid, solid way for Nikon to uh, solidify all of their older F-mount shooters to go ahead and get involved in the system because at that point, what is there to lose? But I honestly do not think that that's going to happen. There is a lot of side cash to be made from that adapter, I'm telling you right now. They're going to be charging extra for it. And if I'm correct, I think it will be the exact same price as uh, the Canon adapter. And that'll be 200 bucks. So cough up that cash, boys and girls. If you want to shoot Nikon, you're going to have to get an adapter. And I'm going to laugh so hard. I really am. I can remember when uh, Sony first came out and everyone was adapting old glass to the Sony cameras and go, what are you, stupid? What are you, a moron? There's plenty of cameras already available that you can use native glass on. Why, um, why adapt old glass? And these are going to be the same jackholes that are going to be buying this adapter. You just watch and see. Every pro on the market is going to be like, oh, this is revolutionary. And they will. They will. Because now it suits them. And they didn't have the foresight five or six years ago to go. Yeah, that that's, is a pretty cool feature. So whatever. Next photographer we've got on the list in this video is a guy named Brandon Wolfful. Words are super hard today. It's so reliable and I'm always able to capture the most spontaneous moments. Is it really, Brandon, so reliable? You probably had it for like three days. So reliable. So reliable. Dude, the hype train is real. So that was all we ended up really getting. There was a scene in there where it did show someone touching the screen. So we are, in fact, going to have a touch screen. But they did not show any menu interactions via the touch screen. All they showed was some swiping, maybe some pinch and zooming and stuff like that. And I, it's good. But even in that video, it looked a little laggy to me. I mean, it did. It looked... Not very responsive, gotta be honest. But the great thing about modern day cameras is most stuff like that can be fixed with firmware, so that's assuming that Nikon actually releases any firmware for this camera. Uh, Nikon has not been known at all whatsoever for updating their cameras with firmware. They usually just fix it in a whole new camera and then you have to buy it. So uh, I hope that maybe they have perhaps learned their lesson. If they took a, a chapter out of, out of Fujifilm's book and released great firmware, maybe threw in that adapter, because that adapter is going to make a lot of difference as to whether or not uh, the system will be uh, viable and successful in the short term. I'm sure that it will survive and be completely fine in the long term. But uh, early adoption is going to be key in order for them to gain enough revenue to continue to support this system. If there are not the factors uh, involved, like a wonderful video, autofocusing, eye tracking, phase detection system in this camera, I mean, it's done. So it's got to have it. And they didn't show anything like that. So I hope they're just waiting until the announcement so they can just blow everyone's socks off. Because thus far, we've got literally zero, zero evidence that any of that kind of thing is going to be involved in this particular project. So as I've said before, I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that everything goes swell because I really want them to do good, but I'm not holding my breath. So at any rate, guys, that's all I've got for you all today on the morning jilt. I'm going to finish the rest of my coffee and get a bunch of other stuff done. And I would really just like to hear what you all think. I mean, are you even more hyped than you were hyped yesterday? So much hype. I don't know. I'm pretty ambivalent at this point. 
I think they're doing just enough to keep their name in the news and keep people talking about them, but they really haven't released much meat. You know, when they start releasing some meat and putting some meat on that bone, then I might get excited. But up until this point, I mean, it's all just really kind of, you know, teasers and hype and hype and teasers. So let me know what you guys think about the video down in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys again on the next one tomorrow. Peace.